Thursday, the 24th of August 2017 at 10.35 Politics NN A Member of Parliament, Walid Sukaria, on Thursday praised the Lebanese army's endeavours swiftly clearing swathes of land from Daesh terrorists and seizing control of a large number of highlands and hilltops, with only 20 kilometres left under the control of terrorists. Interviewed by the Voice of Lebanon Radio, the lawmaker explained that the fourth stage of the battle might be the heaviest because the remaining area was a series of hilltops that were more than 2,000 meters high and the most difficult geographically. It is the place where terrorists are centered. They will try to withstand the looming offensive, and in case of failure, they terrorists will have no choice but to either surrender or die, the lawmaker said. He explained that the possibility of terrorists escaping to the Syrian interior was far-fetched, especially that they are surrounded by the Syrian army and Hezbollah. There must be field coordination between the Lebanese and Syrian armies in the offensive operations because the enemy is one, he added. On the fate of the kidnapped soldiers, he said that Daesh would not make any disclosures unless the Lebanese side ensures the full safety of its Daesh members. This is difficult to achieve in light of the impossibility of withdrawing to Ulrika or surrendering to the Lebanese army without a battle. RH follow the latest national news agency NNA News on Radio Lebanon 98.5, 98.1, and 96.2 FM.